Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Modded Minecraft 1.12, playing on the Direwolf 20 pack. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. We're over here near our AE2 system, and we're going to be working on mob spawners today. So let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, mob spawners. Yes, we tried that in the past. We had a little run in about that same time with the server and having to reset and all of that fun stuff. But it's time to get back into it. And you may be wondering, why in the world do you need to do that? You've got bees producing a lot of stuff. Well, bees are producing some things, but they're not producing everything we need like the drops of evil from the wither skeletons we can't get those from bees that i know of let's just let's just verify to be sure is it our yeah it's just a mob drop yep that's it so uh, we we have to use a mob spawner for that and yeah we're gonna play around with some other stuff here and we're going to do all of this in a compact machine now where did my other there's okay so that's my power power production one um yeah so what we need to do is go build one of these compact machines and it is nighttime upon us but we are not going to get rid of the night no 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 we are going to keep it for right now so uh let's see we need to get rid of you and you and you and then let's build this compact machine here we're going to do the massive one again and, and you know, maybe I should, whenever I'm doing this, I, I should probably get out a builder's wand, but it doesn't take that long to build this. Okay, it's just a five by five by five. And we'll put a an emerald block right here in the middle. Grab this, okay. And then all the way around. Really, it's not too bad of a process here to get all of this in so what three right there okay so it's just over a stack what, 98 blocks i think okay way to go server saving the world there oh, good job good job server so over here we get this almost done and boom and then what we do we throw in just single ender pearl boom okay and then we wait for it and while we're waiting for it, what I want to do is put pink slime out. We're going to, what I need to do is I want, I want one of those guys in a spawner changer. So we've got Enderman right there. Okay. And that one's empty. This one's empty. Yeah. Okay. You may be wondering what in the world are you doing with the nether star, but don't worry. All in good time. All in good time. You'll see. Let's see if this this pink slime is going to change for us please oh please and maybe while we're doing this let's clean up our mess that we made over here uh, with getting rid of torches there we go yeah we picked up we picked up three and put down four yeah and we can get rid of f4 again oh come on it's not gonna it's not going to be, be helpful for us. I really don't care to use this mob slaughter factory over and over again. It's it's kind of annoying. It's fine if you're using the liquid meat, but uh, it'd be nice to have some other way of dealing with the pink slime. This is not showing up. But you've got to stay here and wait for the thing to turn, so let me just wait. Back in a bit. Well, as soon as I stop recording, look who shows up. And here we go. We're going to hit him with the spawner changer. And there we go. We've got that stored away. Same with the Enderman right there. And then we're going to go to the nether and pick up a wither skeleton as well. But uh, I don't know how useful that's going to be. Let's put torch there, torch there. Good. Good. Okay. And we can get rid of the F4. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it always messes up OBS. It goes nuts. I don't think it matters much for you, however. All right, so now what I want to do, yes, I'm going to sacrifice a, a nether star. Let's come over here to the desert and server struggling a bit. Let's see if we can find a zombie. 
I need a zombie to, to show up. Yes, I actually want them to, to come close by. I don't know if we'll find them necessarily. We get a bunch of those husks, but zombies are, are few and far between over in the desert. You usually get the, we don't want to deal with those. I need a zombie. That's what I need. I hear a slime. Zombies, nothing. When you don't want them, they're all around. And anything. Zombie. We got skeletons. Don't much care for those. Okay. And no zombies. Hmm. Okay, well. I really don't want to spend tons of time on this episode just waiting around for stuff to show up. So, yeah, I will bring you back once I find a zombie. Look here, we've got a zombie. Let's see if he'll pick this up. Come over this way. Oh, I've got my, my magnet on. Let's, uh, okay. Turn that off. Are you going to pick that up? Please pick that up. Nothing. No, are you one of those that's not going to pick stuff up? It is apparently a 55% chance for them to pick pick up items. Okay. That one's not going to pick anything up. So now I've still got to find a zombie that will pick things up. Let's see if we can get this guy's attention without getting the attention of creepers. Okay. Okay, we've got one. Is he going to pick it up? No. Nope. He's not going to pick it up. Okay. I don't want creepers close by. So we still are on the hunt for a zombie that will pick up another star. Why in the world might we want that? Well, we will. We're going to we're going to be playing around. So let me find a zombie that will pick it up and I'll bring you right back. All right, this guy has picked it up, and we are going to pick him up in a mob imprisonment tool, and let's head back to base. Well, now we're over in the nether. We're just doing a lot of, of gathering of supplies here. That's the main thing, and I don't think I've shown you this since I've done it. I moved my nether portal from on top of the nether fortress right there to right here, and it matches up with the... Uh, it's, I guess it's the island that I use interdimensional travel for. So uh, that's it's a much better setup now. Over here, uh, we've got those guys, those guys. Okay. And I need a wither skeleton. We're going to, yeah, we're going to pick one up in, in here. I don't get blazes. Annoying. More than anything, let's uh, let's do this so we can pick things up from afar. Okay, wither skeletons. Yes, no, maybe so. Nothing. Having a time of it. We got one in here. Nope, that is cobblestone. What in the world? My my spawning luck here is not not so great not great at all anything in there nope huh nobody over here hmm well i know there is another nether fortress over this way maybe we'll have better luck with the random number generator over here anything Clear out the the nether over that way. Maybe. No. What in the world? Well, I think we're going to have to go off camera again while I find a wither skeleton. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, here we go. It looks like we've got some potential takers. Okay, and they've all decided to harm themselves. We just need one of you. And you know what? While we're at it, 
we have looting on this thing? Yeah, we can. Yeah, wait, wait. I didn't check that. Yeah, looting. We got all the things on here. And did we get some more stuff? Yes, we did. Okay. So, I think we finally have everything we need. And, and we're ready to go back. And let me take care of these guys, and I'll meet you back at home base. All right, I've done a little bit more prep work. I went over to the Lost Cities dimension, and I took all those spawner changers, and I changed them out for this. And remember, I had the Drop of Evil there. I turned that into a Resturbed Mob Spawner. We will need one of those again for something we've got to do you know you remember we have the mob farm down there we're going to tear that out and i will do that off camera but i wanted to show you something real quick with these compact machines so right click to go in here all right and wait for it to do its transdimensional thing okay and so what i want to do now is come over to this corner and shift right click okay entry point set and my phone is going off I wonder who that could be. Let's just make sure it's it's nothing. Uh, okay, okay, not uh, not something I need to address at the moment. So shift right click there, and what I did is I changed the entry point. So you remember when I first came in, I dropped here right in the middle of the thing. I want to make it come over here because I want the mob spawner to be over here. So we're gonna have a machine for mob spawners, right? Okay, so. Now what I'm going to do is set out that and then put all of the things I'm going to need in here uh, forthwith. So uh, that's going to be channel 12. That's the transmitter. And there's the receiver for 11. So let's do that. Receiver for... So what? We'll do transmitter on the top. Receiver on the bottom right there. Okay, so there we go. Receiver... And then 11, okay, that's just so so I know uh, what's, what's up there. And then we'll leave the compact machine for now. And then we need to build a couple more machines. And this is where it's really just a lot of getting the pieces and parts together. And I'm going to not bring you along for the entire build. What we will do is take care of a lot of this off camera. So what I wanna do is bring up industrial foregoing for the longest time, I you know, I didn't know where my mob crusher was. And then I remembered finally just now that we set that up for the ghast bee and the blaze bee. Yeah, so uh, we, we are going to need another one of these, however. So let's just do this real quick. We need a couple of gold gears and then we'll need... Uh, let's make two of these machine frames because I need one more machine from here so let's do that okay and then we can make should be able to make that oh uh doesn't know about the sword so let's do that grab you okay good we've got a mob crusher and then what we need is the duplicator over here can we do this not quite we need to make magma cream and there we go can we do it now? Yes, we can. Excellent. Now, here's what I need to check. And the entire entirety of this episode may fall right now, depending on what version of industrial foregoing we have in here. I don't think we have what we need. We don't. I need it to copy exact. I need exact copy mode. And I don't think you can do it <laughs> well that's a that's a shame that is a crying shame huh <laughs> well what I do need to do is I do need to uh, let's just chuck these items in here okay and we'll put that in there just for grins and giggles and we'll get out of here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear down the existing mob farm over there. Again, I told you a while back, we are going to be consolidating all of our machines, except probably the compact machine building. So that means that we need 
we need to actually tear this thing down. And the best way to do that is with the, uh, with our in, uh, actually additions drill here. And so there we go. We're going to tear this whole thing apart and then rebuild much nicer over in that compact machine. So I will take care of this and we'll get something rebuilt over there uh, real soon. Back in a bit. Well, I think it's about time for a progress update. Much progress has been made. So first things first, we'll take a look here. We've got a little setup here above our enchantment factory. We've got some deep resonance tanks and then this ender tank up here with lime all the way across and on the personal network. And if we take a look inside here, we are building up fluid essence. I've got the mob farm turned off right now, so we're not doing that. But over in my other mob farm, over with the bees, I've got another one of these ender tanks too. So if we ever do any more of those bees that produce uh, those mobs as a side effect, yeah, they're going to be contributing to the essence as well. But this gives us something where we can do enchantments a little more readily. So uh, we're, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be having fun with that. So. Let's go over into our compact machine and I can show you this thing. And there we go. So I've built it and let's let's go over it piece by piece. So we've got a dark room. We're using dark glass from extra utilities. And then let's pop in here and just explain a few things. So we've got the reserved mob spawner set up here and redstone receivers all pointed into those. These things have a range, I think, of nine by nine and our mob crusher down here has a range of seven by seven so you can see that that's why i went with the extra little lip up here at the top and to make sure that everybody gets down into the fun zone we've got slime channels from tinker's construct that's pretty simple it's a slime let's see if we can bring this up here recipe yeah so you take a congealed green slime block smelt it in a furnace of some form and you get three green slime channels. This right here, it's not like a slime block of vanilla. This is a congealed green slime block. It's four slime balls instead of nine. So pretty simple. Uh, I was able to do that, no problem. And then in here, we've got Cursed Earth Mob Farm going once again. You've seen me set that up before here on this server. And then we're using redstone lamps to control that right now. It's just levers on each of the lamps so it's a little bit annoying to turn this whole thing on and off but let's just do that real quick and you can see uh how how this thing is working and let's just get that turned off things are gonna be kind of loud to start i haven't seen any of the pink slime come through but we've been getting wither skeletons in here as well and plenty of endermen as well so let's go back to uh, our base you can see right here we've also got lime green uh, lime green ender tank yeah it's rather noisy so let's come out here you can see the assets building up and then we'll go back and turn everything off because we don't have a good overflow system set up yet so we want to make sure that uh, we're we're not going to kill the server yeah killing the server not good not good at all so let's go ahead turn everything off like so and then good 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 okay i i've i've done my fair share of crashing the server i don't want it to be with items so there we go anyway a quick note about the mob duplicator i looked into this some more we've got the correct version for industrial for going the exact copy came in on 1.6 of industrial for going but we've got 1.6.6, so it is available, but the problem is that it is a config option that is disabled by default. And the pack maker for Direwolf 20 has not enabled it, uh, nor on FTB Revelation. So who knows? Anyway, I was going to try and have a, a pretty simple Nether Star farm, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. So, oh well. You win some, you lose some here in modded. We'll have to come up with some other way of getting nether stars. Probably have to go the route of, of an automated wither killer, but I'm not, not that keen on that. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you got any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to leave those down in the comment section down below, 
or you can catch me on my public discord there is a link to that in the description box below if you enjoyed a like is always appreciated and if you haven't done so already think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything else going on on the channel that's going to be it for now we'll see you next time and again thank you so much for watching bye bye